This is a disclaimer. What you are about to encounter is purely an opinion. Opinions are generally based on lived experiences and what we're about to encounter is my opinion based off of my lived experiences on whatever topic we're about to encounter, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this immediately and please, let's keep it civil. If you or anyone you know have been affected negatively by Mr. L. Boyd's personal opinion, please call 248-434-5508. What's happening here? This Daenerys is also no is Daenerys the bastard? I don't know. I don't think so. And these are the uh the masters. Commerce has returned to the markets. The people are right. You. Yeah, but now look, Tyrion. It proves that no one needs a master. Right. Should we begin? What? You just say yes. That is my plan. Do you see what I'm talking about, guys? Something wrong with Daenerys, bro. You once told me you knew what your father was. The loyal ones and the traitors. Bro, she's as crazy as her father, no doubt. It's not entirely different. Not really. I'd like to suggest an alternate approach. Daenerys looks very different, guys. You will flee Slaver's Bay on foot. Like the beggar queen you are. Oh. We are here to discuss terms of surrender. The unsullied you stole from Krasny's Mona Claus will remain to be sold again to the highest bidder. <laughs> the translator you stole from Krasny's Mona Claus will remain to be sold again to the highest bidder. Bro, they're talking like they have any leg to stand on. Yeah, they're captured, right? But I don't think they understand, bro. They're... I don't think they still really have a chance here, guys. I mean, I get it. They're, they seem to be on the... the, the the, the winning side right now, unfortunately, but they're talking like they have a leg to stand on. Um, Daenerys always has, for the most part, something in her in her, her back pocket, guys. We had to discuss your surrender, not mine. Okay. What's the your new reality? reign is over. Look behind them, guys. My reign has just begun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now what? I mean, they can't win. They're, they're not allowed to win, bro. Understand that. Right. All of that talk, bro. It's a whole lot of talk. That's big talk. Oh, so they're back. Right. Sons of the Harpy versus uh, the Dothraki? No chance. Say the magic word. Yeah, guys, Daenerys almost doesn't look like the same person. Something is different. I I can't figure it out. I mean, I don't know what the masters Thank you expected for the there. Armada. Our queen does love ships, though our queen does have a forgiving nature. This. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's not gonna our work, bro. Our queen insists that one of you must die. <laughs> oh God, guys, psychotic. Him. He Why him? Die. Yes, him. No. He's not one of us. He does not speak for us. Then not him. It's one of the other ones. Right. Makes sense. <laughs> I mean, he's still terrible, though, bro. Just be fully aware. He needs to get packed up also. Send him home. Bro, that's, he just psychologically babied him. He turned him into a baby, bro. He just... You know, psychological, just, that's just, that's just a, that was fantastic to encounter. <laughs> God, guys. I think in New York we would call that sunning someone, guys. This is a great start of the episode. My beloved wife. Hmm. I've missed you terribly. I'm a man of mercy. No, you're not. Maybe you are that good. Maybe not. Okay. I don't know if I'd beat you, but I know that my army will beat yours. You're a coward. I have 6,000 men. You have what? Will your men want to fight for you when they hear you wouldn't fight for them? Ooh, bars. Probably. They still will. <laughs> I 
I look forward to having her back in my bed. Oh, you disrespectful. That's disrespectful, You're bro. Man. Well, well, why would you why would you start there? Like of all places. It's probably not even the most tasty part of the human body. You understand it's cut through us like through snow. We're digging trenches all along our <laughs> That's, that's, that's a crazy a analogy. And we'll have them surrounded on three sides. Did you really think that would fight you man to man? You knew that he wouldn't. No. But I wanted to make him angry. Did it ever once occur to you that I might have some insight? No, it didn't. You're right. But you probably do. You think he's going to fall into your trap? He won't. He's the one who lays trap. What should we do? How do we get Rickon back? We'll never get him back. Just don't do what he wants you to do. Oh, that's good advice. You think that's obvious? Well, it is a bit obvious. If you had asked for my advice earlier, I would have told you not to attack Winterfell until we had a larger force. Or is that obvious when too? When will we have a larger force? We've pleaded with every house that'll have us. The Blackfish can't help us. Enough! No, it's not enough. It's what we have. Yep. It is what it is. You gotta go, bro. I'm not going back there alive. Do you understand me? Understood. No one can protect anyone. Do you think that's the statement you need to make at this very specific time, Sansa? Do you think so? This man is about to lead a charge into a basically a a trap by the sounds of it, guys. The last thing he needs is is something around him that's giving him negativity. <sighs> All right, Sansa. But I was wrong just like you. Maybe that was our mistake, believing in kings. Right. It is. No, he's not a king. That's why you should believe in him. No, he's not. Stronger than any of that grape water you southern twats like sucking on. <laughs> it does sound delicious, but I better that, keep a clip. That does not sound delicious. Don't lie to the man. Tell him it sounds gross. Your head. Think and walk. Hmm. Okay. Think and walk until I'm far is that something you say in polite conversation? <laughs> God, guys. I'm ordering you not to bring me back. I am not your servant, John Snow. You're in my camp. I'm the commander. I serve the Lord of Light as well as I can. That's weird. Just so, you, so you're guessing. Me to bring you back. How did I bring you back? What kind of cop would do something like that? The one we've got. Hmm. The one we've got. All right. Noted. Oh no! Is not the one he made for his for the uh, for Stannis's daughter? Bro. Last time we saw each other was at Winterfell. Yes. Winterfell. Okay. You were making jokes about my height. I seem to recall. It was complicated for you, I'm sure. Growing up at Winterfell. Quite knowing who you were. Lord Tyrion tells me your father was a terrible king. You and I have that in common. We do. And both by a usurper as well. Hey, hey, hey relax. Will their ships be enough? And I imagine your offer is free of any marriage demands. I never demand, but I'm up for anything, really. We'd like you to help us. You're an uncle or two who don't think a woman's fit to rule. Reasonable. It's like identity politics right now, guys. Is that what's happening? What if everyone starts demanding their independence? She's not demanding. She's asked. Is it free to ask as well? They're not going to get it. Like, how would she have known just to reach for the forearm? I would have not done that, personally. I would have shook the hand, but either way. I don't know how she instantly knew that it was a forearm handshake but i mean if they if the iron islands can keep that deal then maybe it could work potentially i don't think they will the people won't at least again that's their way of life right um who are these people that are burning Oh no. Oh no, bro. 
like the whole idea of of him with the little brother is absolutely sickening. Do you like games, little man? Oh no. Let's play a game. Of course. Run to your brother. The sooner you get to see him again. Oh no, don't this this That's it. Here we go. That's the game. Easy. You've seen these games before, guys. No, you have to run, remember? Those are the rules. Bro, don't run in a straight line. Stop running in a straight line, bro. Bro, the suspense. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, grab him. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> oh my God. The extra arrows were not necessary, director. Okay? They weren't necessary. It's an insult to injury. That was a trap. Bro, I'm sick of Jon Snow being deleted. Okay. Well played. Yeah, the difference is that he doesn't care about his own men. Ooh. Right. Where is your head? Right. Guys, first, firstly, I want to congratulate whoever further shot this scene, you guys. Like, I, guys, really quickly. So, I'm sorry, I have to stop. I have to collect myself here, guys. I want to congratulate whoever shot this scene. Firstly, uh, the shutter angle that they decided to use is super, like, jumpy and jittery. It almost reminds me of that wild scene from The Hunger Games where they were just hand-holding everything, and it was super jumpy. It was, like, it was, like meant to add, like, um, in a sense, beauty to the action. It's supposed to suck you in because all the, of all the movement. Because of all the movement. I love the way this scene looks, guys. Personally, uh, like the way Game of Thrones do, right, like consistently does fighting scenes and overall like high action scenes, it's amazing, guys. Ah! Ah! Right. Ah! Right. Ah! Right. All this unnecessary loss of life, guys. The cowardice of the Bolton. He's just hanging out in the back, bro. He's not even risking his life. Coward. Another trap. Oh, no, guys. Oh. Bro, don't trample the man. Or that man. Don't trample John or that man. Bro, this death would be almost as bad as choking on a ham sandwich, bro. It's disrespectful. Here we go. Here we go. Why? 
Right. Yeah, you had to go, bro. I'm sorry. Who, who is this? Let's go. Right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy that this is happening, but I'm not, you know, too happy that, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, Ramsey. You know what time it is, bro? It's time. Oh, I figured. I figured you're gonna run, coward. Our army's gone. We have Winterfell. They don't have the men for siege. All we have to do is wait. Do yeah, you have a giant, bro? All that talking. You forgot? You forgot what time it was, right? It's time for you to go to sleep. Come on. I don't really want the, the giant to disappear, bro. He needs to consistently be here. I think it's mandatory. I like the giant. Doesn't speak much. Didn't have many lines, but I like him. Wow. Did I? Okay. Because well. Ramsey is just disrespectful. You suggested one-on-one -on -one combat, didn't you? Yeah, I think it's too late for that, bro. Let's take him out. I've reconsidered. Oh, of course I not. think that's... Don't even stop him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Make sure you break all of this, okay? All of this. Right, right. A couple more. He, don't need, he doesn't need teeth anymore. He doesn't need his nose. Just go ahead and get rid of all of that for him. Your feet too, use your feet. Use your, bro, get up, use your feet. Okay. Oh, Sansa, let her use her feet. No feet? Right now, use your feet. Okay. Okay, now, but, but where is he? Obviously he's, I mean, he was bludgeoned pretty terribly, but uh, didn't really see him. Uh, Take his last breath. So I'm um, guessing he's gonna pop back up at some time, right? Where is he? Okay. Bro, he can still move his hands. He's he, there's, there's something wrong. There's something wrong here, guys. Oh, he can still blink too. Oh, that's a problem. Guys, this wasn't enough. Sons, our time together is about to come to an end. Potentially. Your words will disappear. Mm -hmm. Your house will disappear. Tell him you're pregnant and, and your you don't care. Will disappear. Go. Destroy him. You will disappear. Okay. Wait a second. Oh. I mean, they, they haven't eaten in what, eight days now. Because it was seven days before he said that. So it must be eight now. They're hungry. Start at the testes. That was yesterday, though. It was eight days now. They're loyal beasts. They're Start loyal. at the testes. Now they're starving. Right. And, and those are definitely not hounds. Looking at them. Look like Kane Corsos. And they have cropped ears. Stop! 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 The face? Okay, start at the face. Oh! <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Oh, God. It's, it's, it's a crunching sound. It's a crunching sound for me right now, guys. Oh. Okay, listen. So, absolutely amazing, the episode. All right, Battle of the Bastards. Here's the thing here, guys. I'm happy it happened the way it did. Um, okay, cool, they're back in Winterfell now. Um, I don't really know what the Red Woman had to do with this part, other than obviously bringing Jon back to life. I don't think that the conversation that they had in the tent was even 
kind of worth even really being in the episode. I don't know. It just wasn't uh, it wasn't grandiose enough to kind of fit into what we just encountered. It was absolutely amazing, guys. So the filming of this episode, you could tell that the budget obviously got larger and larger and larger. I also see like a like a shift, most likely in um, the camera technology that we're using. Also, like for the majority of the the, epi the, the episodes, uh, it kind of felt like they were kind of going between like red cameras, red as in the manufacturer red. Um, and they're, they're obviously shooting extremely high with absolutely amazing, like super expensive $50,000 anamorphic lenses. It was amazing, right? But this episode here feels um, a little more Ari. Ari, th as in another manufacturer of, of those extremely expensive cameras with like Ari uh, uh, anamorphic lenses at like an absolutely wild shutter angle, meaning in regular people speak, apologies guys, but the, um, that the whole fight sequence was was stunning to encounter with how jittery it was at times um how they were like utilizing the shallow depth of field throughout the entire episode and or, or lack of depth of field throughout that episode that, that very specific fight sequence was absolutely phenomenal i love the coloring of it guys this was a beautiful episode to look at basically but the story also great i'm glad it came to this end here i'm definitely very happy to see the bolton to see ramsey bolton gone I also like the fact, at first, I was like, why is Jon Snow not, you know, uh, absolutely decimating every single bone in the man's body? I don't know why, right? But I, but I, you know, I'm glad it happened the way it did. Not so happy that, that the dog didn't just go straight for the, you know, the lower region. I'm not happy about that. He went for the face. Okay, that was pretty interesting and intriguing right i mean but he's not gonna need his face anymore where he's going so you know and he also wouldn't need his manhood neither right so i don't know guys i think i would have did a little bit different i would have personally left him alive for a little bit longer i would have you know uh, rehabilitated him in terms of all the wounds and things that he had come uh, from from john snow basically attempting to break every single bone in this man's face right i would have brought him back to health and then fed him to the dogs Personally, I would have nursed him back and then fed him to the dogs. He's already in pain. He's still in shock. Guys, that wasn't enough. It was bad, but it wasn't enough. Let them in heal from all that stuff and then feed him to the dogs. Maybe. But all right, listen, uh, if you guys want to see the full length of reaction to this very specific episode, which you probably, I'm telling you, you probably should, right? Uh, it is on Patreon at the second tier, and uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. And if you guys are on Patreon, bro, don't worry, we are jumping into 10 right now.